guys and welcome back to Creative Pet Keeping. My name is Kasha and behind me is my super secret and special fish room. I'm super excited to show it to you guys. So this will be a two-part series where I'll show you how I move the fish and also how I started to set everything up. So let's get started. My dad is helping paint this wall. Check it out. This is a beautiful color. It's called Spearmint. It's a bare paint. And I think it's gonna match the little bear rug that I have, the panda rug, and it's gonna look super cute. So this is this is what it looks like so far at night. Just painted. We're gonna see how it looks. And of course we gotta plug the tank back in. And then we're also painting that little strip right here. It's my little like accent color. And then this is gonna be white. So I think it'll be cool. It's gonna it's gonna dry a little darker though. But definitely loving the pop of color. Pretty sure Banana's getting more and more comfortable with the apartment. We've been bringing her here every time we were here setting stuff up, so. She has some time to get used to everything. We brought her little bed. That's our little couch. So I have a lot to do here. I gotta set stuff up. Got a plant hanging from the cat tree and don't have a place to put the TV at. Kind of, we just clean everything and now it's a big mess. Back to, back to doing more stuff. Are you helping me edit my video? Thank you. I needed that. My assistant. Little foot the cat. I'm editing my computer is temporarily on a coffee table in the living room. We're still setting things up. Are you trying to steal my tea? Beautiful. So here's the progress. I drained some water, started pretty much, I bagged all the males as well as all the females from this tank. Still need to get the guppies. Endlers are actually, some of the babies are in the tank still. Most of them are in the shells hiding in here. Bagged a ton of bettas in here. Still haven't done this tank yet, but separating things. So here I have my decorations. Here I have rocks and plants. This is my draining bucket. This is where I'm, this is, there's water in here and these are all the heaters that haven't cooled down yet so they're still cooling down in the water. And then uh, this is the tank with the tank water, pathos, and all the filter media. And then I couldn't catch all the baby um, Maltese so they're in there somewhere in the water somewhere so I left some water for them and then all my jars are clean and ready right here and yeah starting to this is chaos starting to disassemble everything I'm gonna drain this tank completely I'm gonna drain this tank all the way up to the gravel and I'm gonna put at the end I'm gonna put the endlers I mean the guppies into uh, this bucket once I clean it I'm gonna put a little bit of water at the bottom and they're going to be just in a bucket instead of a baggie because I don't think I have a large enough bag. Maybe I can. I don't know. We'll see. But that's kind of what I'm planning on doing. These girls are all, even though they live together, they're all going to be individually bagged. I want to prevent aggression, so a lot of the fish are individually bagged in their little baggies for travel. So that's kind of <sighs> the chaos that's going on right now. So here is the progress on the fish room. You've got to have a desk. I'm actually going to get another piece right here um, so that I get more room to do art stuff and not just use my computer. But this is my temporary setup. 
Got some nice drawers. This is still chaos and a mess. Um, got my dad's dehumidifier up here. Kind of didn't have to put it so high, but it'll free up some floor space and it's, it's easier for me to take out um, the water. I don't have to bend over. The 220 gallons are currently empty, but they will be set up tomorrow. The only thing that's missing is that um, my dad is going to nail attach this to the wall, at least on one side, so they don't flop over for any reason. And then here is what's going on on the big rack. This right here is going to be filled up with 10 gallons. Kind of sideways so I can have some uh, breed some guppies maybe have one tank for shrimp and then also I don't know do some stuff and then and there we have temporary betta that I won he's just in here because it keeps him warm I also have one of the males I bred in here as well he's kind of oh there he is he's just the white one I decided I'll put him in here he's peeking Hi, are you going to come say hi? He's really cute. And... Oh, he's flaring. I thought he would be cute in this tank. I'm going to move this guy out. He's probably going to go in the divided tank, maybe. Um, this is the shell dwellers. Haven't really set up their tank. It's as it is. <sighs> up here, I have all the young female bettas that still need to, grow, need to grow out. They're in their temporary tank with no uh, filter yet because I've been just doing water changes every day. I, I need to still set up my sponge filters. Then here is the 20 gallon uh, long. I did add the two, the two females that are for sale. And they're actually a lot more aggressive than I anticipated. They're back there flaring at each other. Um, because of that, the aggression level overall in this tank has increased. So I will probably have to remove those females. I just dumped all the plants that were in uh, both these tanks in here to try to kind of cover it up. But this was my temporary setup. And then the males, which I will be putting them in the divided tank, are all kind of hanging out in here. They're all jarred. Um, Demon Betta, when he was bagged during transportation, he did see the other male. What is he flaring at? Is he flaring at a photo? I'm using all sorts of dividers. Oh, yeah, he's flaring at the... Apparently at that. Okay. He has been so hardcore flaring that one of his gills is now permanently stuck open. Uh, I'll show you guys that in more detail uh, in the future, but that's not that bad of a problem, but he does everything 500%. He's very hardcore. Um, everybody's doing okay. Some of these guys look a little stressed from everything. Koi male's doing well. Arnold is resting. We have this male, which is still for sale. He's the only male I have left for sale. Um, I do need to buy heat packs, so I won't be shipping fish yet. And then my my show boy right here. So they're doing okay. And then right here I'm going to put a um, bookshelf, and there's going to be one smaller rack so that I can do stack up my jars in the closet. And then I think up here I'll get some flex swat and I'll get some larger jars. Uh, so that I can store some males in here. Probably most of the uh, half moons might go there. I don't know. Some of my older, more raggedy males will kind of probably go up here. It's a cool spot. It's lit very well. So you can still appreciate them very well. And I think I'll put the younger, younger boys in here. So that's... Oh, and I also have some antlers in here that I need to put in the 20 gallon breeding tank for now, maybe, I don't know, something, something's gonna happen. I don't know, but, oh my guppies, my guppies are in that temporary setup with a little filter. So that's kind of what's happening here. Let me move out, so 
half of the room is white half of this is like my office art space and then we have the fish room portion which is why i kind of thought it'd be cool to um do this light minty color it's not super strong but it does give this room a pop of color and it's this is chaos chaos everywhere so they're putting together the bed right now with my dad what's that no sad they're too happy two people no <laughs> <See>? <laughs> You're the best.